Fox News alert new details about how the marathon bombs were detonated that could change this investigation. Brand new hour here of America Live. Welcome everyone. I'm Megan Kelly. Sources are now telling Fox News that the bombs used to kill three people and injure about 200 were detonated by someone who was within the line of sight, meaning they had to see the bombs being detonated. And because of that, investigators are not ruling out the possibility that a third person may have been, may have been involved in this attack. Our chief intelligence correspondent, Catherine Herridge, is breaking this news. She is back with us now, live in Washington. Catherine? Well, thank you, Megan. A national security source who spoke to Fox News on the condition of anonymity because they're not authorized to speak on the record about the investigation confirms that the bombs did not rely on cell phone detonators, but rather what's called line of sight with a speed controller as the trigger. As Fox News was first to report based on an FBI and Homeland Security Intelligence Bulletin, the bombs likely relied on components of remote controlled toy cars. While the range of the toy car components in Boston is not public, it is typically 250 yards or less. Significantly, the national security source also confirmed that remote control parts are not part of Inspire magazine, the Al-Qaeda web magazine, which includes a how-to guide to build bombs. While the working theory is that one or both of the brothers triggered the detonation using the speed controllers, Fox News is told a third party in the crowd has not been ruled out, though there's no evidence suggesting a third party at this time. The FBI is reviewing, or what they call exploiting the brothers' computers, for potential domestic contacts in the plot, Megan. Wow, uh, and that is very interesting that that's not an Inspire magazine, and, and we'll raise more questions. That's extremely important because the early information that was leaked about these devices is that they had somehow gleaned the information from reading Inspire magazine, which is a propaganda magazine put out by Al-Qaeda in Yemen about how to make your own explosives. But uh, Fox was able to confirm earlier today that none of the Inspire magazines include instructions that use these remote controlled toy cars. This means that it was not something inspired by that magazine, but it came from elsewhere. Right, where did they get it? I mean, the Tamerlan is a college dropout who had no job. The younger one who lived and is a suspect right now was said to be a pothead who smoked pot every day. Uh, so how did they figure that out? How did they figure out how to, how to detonate these without using Inspire? Who, 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 if anyone, taught them? And it's yet another thing they're going to need to look into, including that Tamerlan's uh, trip to Russia and who he met with there. Well, the FBI is very actively reconstructing those six months in Russia. And what former members of the Joint Terrorism Task Force in New York have told Fox News is that if just on the face of it, when you look at the quantity of explosives they were able to produce and also the fact that they were effective and they didn't seem to have any accidents in the process, this again speaks to the idea that there was some kind of formal or person-to-person bomb-making training. Wow. Catherine, thank you very much. You're